Jacob Bernoulli was a Swiss mathematician that lived between 1655 and 1705. And this is his definition of E. Now, if we take the compound interest formula, the amount equals the principal times 1 plus R to the N, and we, uh, we make our rate this time be equal to 100%. So we've got our R equals 100%, because we know that 100% 100 is really 1, right? And we uh, take a particular principal, say $100. So P is $100. And we want to work out what that amount would be at the end of one year. So we put re replace the R with 1. Okay, and of course that just becomes 200. So the amount will obviously double at the end of one year. Okay, now say we change that. And we'll say we're going to um, do this over six months. And of course, that means the 100% would have to be 50%. So of course, 50% is a half. And therefore, uh, in, with those two time intervals, we now would have 100 times 2.25, which is $225. Okay, now this time we're going to have a, a monthly interest rate, right? So it's going to be 1 12th, right, to the power 12. And when you multiply that together, you get $261.30. So you can see the small, smaller the time gaps, right, the faster the compound interest will, will grow. Okay, so you see what I've done here. This is over one year's 365 days. So this is the daily interest rate for 365 days. And you get 100 times 2.7146, which gives you $271.30. Then I did it, uh, multiplied this by 24, making an hourly rate, and this gear gave me the figure 2.71812, which is $271.81. And then, right, I did it, did this over the um, the minutes, so this would then become this rather interesting number, 2.71828. Now this 2.7128 is Bernoulli's approximation for E. So E, according to Bernoulli, is defined to be the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 plus 1 over n to the power n. And here I've only approximated out to six decimal places, but you can see that as n gets very, very large, you get um, a better and better approximation of E. Now we'll use this particular uh, formula to derive EVX in the next video.